It's all happening at the great Indian Cricket Bazaar, the IPL 6 auctions, the hits, the misses, the big buys. Shivani Gupta has the latest. Thanks a lot, Aditya. Let's start uh, with the big buys of uh, the IPL 6 auctions. The teams did lose um, loosen up their purse strings as the players were snapped up for big bucks. The biggest surprise of the auction was Australian all-rounder Glenn Maxwell, who became the first million-dollar baby of this year. Starting on a base price of $200,000, the auction saw heavy bidding for the all-rounder and he was ultimately snapped up by the Mumbai Indians for a million bucks. Former Australian captain Ricky Ponting, though, did not have a lot of takers. In the end, he went to Mumbai Indians for his base price of $400,000, which comes to about 2.1 crores in Indian currency. Interestingly, none of the teams bid for the former Australian captain within the stipulated time. Just as the auctioneer was about to bring his hammer down, Mumbai Indians bid for him and got him at a pretty good rate of his base price. But a promising fast bowler with South Australia, Kane Richardson, has now been bought in the second phase by Pune Warriors for a whopping 700,000 US dollars. After some strong showing in the season's Big Bash League, he was called into the national ODI squad to replace injured Mitchell Stark during Australia's series against Sri Lanka last month. And it seems all the teams were quite impressed by this younger pacer and eventually he was lapped up uh, by quite, for quite a bit uh, for Pune Warriors. Meanwhile, uh, current Australian captain Michael Clark uh, was once again snapped up by Pune Warriors for his base price of $400,000. Clark played for Pune, remember, last season as well. And uh, he will play with the Pune franchise again. South African all-rounder Johan Botha was snapped up by the Delhi Daredevils for $450,000 after starting at a base price of $300,000. Ajanta Mendes was snapped up by Pune Warriors for a whopping $725,000 after he started on a base price of just $50,000. So clearly, teams feel Ajanta Mendes still has the guile to, to get them the wickets that they need. Meanwhile, James Faulkner was snapped up by Rajasthan Royals for $400,000. So a good buy for Rajasthan there as well. Let's move on to the Indians now. They also had quite a field day at the auctions all-rounder. Abhishek Nair, he elicited quite an exciting tussle, starting with a base price of just $100,000. CSK, Royal, Daredevil, Sunrisers and the RCB all bidding for the player and his price shot up exponentially. In the end, Pune Warriors outbid all the rest and uh, got Nair for $675,000, making him the priciest Indians in today's auction. Meanwhile, Royal Challengers Bangalore have attained the services of Jayadev Vanadkar for, again, a surprising price of $525,000. Manfred Goni surprised one and all as well as he commanded a prize of $500,000 with Kings XI Punjab uh, being quite keen on him and in the end snapping up the bowler. Also under the hammer was Indian pacer R.P. Singh with a base price of $100,000. There were there was serious bidding from both uh, Rajasthan Royals and Chennai Super Kings for the man. But in the end, the bowler was snapped up by the Royal Challengers Bangalore for $400,000. Again, 2.1 crores in Indian currency. So quite a good day for him too. RCB also successfully bid for Pankaj Singh, bought him for $150,000. Meanwhile, Sadeep Tyagi was bought... Uh, for his base price of $100,000 by the Hyderabad Sunrisers.